I bet you've never heard of Hanin Zrika or Idrissa Gay. I bet you've heard of Israel Folau and Margaret Court. They've got similar prin principles, all four of them, but the media have treated them very differently. Can you guess why? <laughs> So back in January, you might remember my first episode of McBlog for this year, where I showed that the media were very kind to greater Western Sydney Giants player Hanin Zrika uh, in the AFL Women's League. She's the league's first Muslim player, but she said she wouldn't play in an LGBT pride match after deciding she couldn't wear the pride jumper because it didn't align with her religious beliefs. And the media report said, quote, Greater Western Sydney is understood to be fully committed to the Pride match and its LGBT players, but is also supporting Zurika in her decision not to play or wear the jumper. How lovely. How respectful. Freedom of religious belief. And respect to Zurika also for living according to her principles and Muslim faith. There wasn't a peep from politicians calling her views disgraceful or hurtful or calling her a bigot. Well, the media weren't kind to this person, Margaret Court, for similar views. The Tennis Australia great player, she was slammed for her views of same-sex marriage and gender dysphoria. Uh, and even Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews said that the former tennis champion holds disgraceful and hurtful views and that she was a bigot. And of course, the media weren't kind to Israel Folau either for, you know, similar views. I probably don't need to remind you about that particular case. But have you heard of Idrissa Gay? At the weekend, uh, France's top football club, this is what the media report says, Paris Saint-Germain PSG midfielder Idrissa Gay was left out of the match day squad for a game at Montpellier. Amid reports, he refused to wear a team jersey with a rainbow coloured number. And it was part of a French league wide campaign against homophobia. And the Senegal International has a strong Muslim faith. And Gay, who is a devout Muslim from Senegal, came under fire to feature in this game. You can see there the shirts on the right, they had the rainbow numbers. But he, um, you know, they wore special shirts in this expression of solidarity to mark the upcoming International Day against homophobia biphobia, and transphobia. Uh, interestingly, but not surprisingly, there wasn't a special shirt for the International Day of Families, which was two days before. But uh, this player, the Senegal Muslim, he was accused by the Football Federation of validating discriminatory behaviour. Well, that's complete and utter nonsense. Good on him for sticking to his principles, the convictions of his Muslim faith. Now, ironically, football fans and politicians, including Senegal's president, rallied behind Gay following his withdrawal from the match. The president tweeted, I support Indrisa Ghana Gay. His religious convictions must be respected. And there was a petition on change.org supporting the player, garnered 50,000 signatures in five days before being pulled by change.org, which is why you always avoid that woke website. They're not really into petitions. Change.org isn't pushing their leftist agenda. But of course, this story wasn't plastered over the New Zealand media, was it? In fact, the furor even overseas lasted about 24 hours. The only mention I could find in New Zealand was a One News article which had three short sentences about, about gay. But that was in the context of celebrating a 17-year-old second-tier footballer in the UK who had said he's gay in a, quote, trailblazing moment for the European men's game, according to the report. You know, you haven't heard much about Hanin Zurika or Andresa Gay, and you may say, well, hang on, Andresa Gay's overseas, but Hanin Zurika was just across the Tasman in Australia. But we heard a heck of a lot about Margaret Court in Israel Folau. Similar convictions, similar stand based on religious belief. But... Court and Falau are Christian. Massive media storm. Zurika and Gay are Muslim. Moving on, well, you know, we're not pleased, but <laughs> nothing to see here. And that says everything about what the real target is. There is a double standard 
they say they want diversity and inclusion, lovely buzzwords, but not if it's an expression of your Christian faith based on a biblical sexual ethic. Hey, get used to it. It's the double standard of our culture and media at the moment. Just keep speaking biblical truth. Music